Determine the horizontal and vertical components of force which the pins A, the pins A and pin and pin B exert on the frame. So essentially this question is about finding the support reactions but uh, the horizontal and vertical components of this uh, pin support here and that and, and then this pin support here. Okay. Uh, so if you look at the system, <coughs> if we can realize the fact that member CD and member EF are two force members, so member member CD and member EF are two force members, two force members, then it will be uh, really simple to go ahead and solve this problem. Uh, so uh, notice that member CD and member EF are pinned connected, pin connected to, to, to this vertical members here and here and they don't carry any uh, loads um, no, no, no forces are acting uh, along their length either longitudinally or uh, at an angle so these two facts make these members member CD and member EF two force members so uh, this means that we can isolate member E D A D and member B C and from these two force members and write a free body diagram for 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 these member A D and member B C separately. So for member A A D member A D we have member A D here. So free but body diagram for member AD okay so we can write this free body diagram okay. so some space here okay so for, for member AD we have a pin support here okay, let me just draw a better vertical line here Okay, I guess this is a better word to combine. So support A, we have AX horizontal component, and we have AY the vertical component. And at a height of three meters, we have uh, sorry somewhere here we have uh, the force acting through member the two force member EF, EF here, and that's at an angle of, um, that's a three, four, five triangle, okay, and we have here the second two force member force, FCV, and here on the left hand side we have an external applied load of distributed load, uh, magnitude of which is 400 okay so that's 400 Newton over meter so we write the equivalent force equivalent single force here F which is 400 times 4.5 meters here right okay so we we will now draw the free body diagram for um, for the for member uh, for member let's see member BC let's draw a free body diagram from member BC free body diagram for BC here okay so we have a 4.5 meter long member there so we have uh, support reactions here BX and BY by here and we have at 1 point 1 point5 meter height we have a force applied here FEF so that force okay and we have an applied force here equal and opposite here 
FCD and no other external external applied force elsewhere along the member uh, member B uh, DC. Okay, so that's C, that's C, and that's F on F. Okay, uh, so essentially what we're going to do now, we're going to write equilibrium equations at point A and equilibrium, moment equilibrium at point A and moment equilibrium at point, point B. Right, so let's do that here. Okay, alright, so moment equation, let's change the pen. So total moment A positive counterclockwise zero. So we're gonna have an equation including FEF and FCT here. So it'll be uh, FEF, so the horizontal component of FEF, FEF times, uh, that's four over five, four over five, and the height will be three meters up, and this is positive, positive minus FCD uh, times 4.5, uh, and minus we have 400 times four and a half 400 newton times 4.5 meters times the height will be a uh, 2.25 meters that's equal to zero and on this right hand side free body diagram for member bc we have moment equilibrium around point b that's equal to zero and that will be minus FEF times the vertical component, the horizontal component of that. So that will be, um, that will be three, four, and five here. And so times four, four over five, four over five, times 1.5 meters here, and plus FCD times 4.5 meters here. Okay, so this will, uh, these equations will give us uh, FEF, FEF is equal to 3,375 Newton and FCD equals 900 Newton here and we can now use these two values to find uh, AX and AY. So, writing a uh, moment, uh, writing uh, equilibrium equation here, uh, sum of the forces in the X direction, and sum of the forces in the X directions uh, on both free body diagrams, we can find BX and BY. And similarly, we can, we can write uh, equilibrium equations in force equilibrium equations in the Y directions to find. A, B, X, and A, B, Y, A, Y, and B, Y. Okay, so sum of the forces in the X direction is equal to zero. And for A, X, we're going to have A, X equals, so it's very straightforward to write these equations. Now, we know the value of F, C, D, we know F, E, F, so to find A, X is simple. So we know the value of F, F, C, D, value of F, F, E, F, and uh, we can find BX and similarly AY and BY we can go ahead and find these values so I will just write the, the result and uh, so AX is essentially we find AX to be to be zero um, and some of the force in the Y direction on the left hand side free body diagram will help us find AY. So AY will be equal to 2,000, no, 2.0, 2 uh, 2.025 kilonewton. Okay. And for the BX and BY, we, we do this through uh, similar calculations for BX and BY. So uh, some of the forces in the x direction uh, is equal to zero, and then bx um, is equal to 
kN and some of the forces in the y direction positive upwards will give us dy equals 2.025 kilonewtons. So these two equations are written for the free body diagram of member AD and these equations are written for free body diagram of member member BC. And this, these are the horizontal and uh, vertical components of the support reactions uh, here at point A, A and B. That concludes the solution of this problem. Thanks for listening.